Hey everyone, hi, it's Janet, aka Janie in the Reef Forums, and uh, also aka Bambi. <laughs> um, okay, the tank's been running now. Here's an update it's been about oh, a year, it's about a year and two months now, I believe, something like that. All right, here's my one ten peninsula. Um, everything's growing great. I mean, I had a few losses, but that's the uh, that's the hobby. Okay, as you can see, my uh, tree, I call it the tree, my SPS tree. Everything's growing out nice. And yeah, let's get a top view. Um, sometimes, like, when they touch each other, they tend to, you know, I guess they fight and one, of course, loses. So, as you can see up on top here, uh, I had something that had touched it and then it started, you know, rescinding. But it's coming back. And over here, too, this is a pain in the butt. Uh, sometimes this guy falls on top of that, on, on this one here. So, you know, I got to keep an eye on it every day make sure nobody's touching anybody um, especially over here I gotta watch that here's my um, oh what is it again I forgot the name ah. okay you guys know what it is I have to okay here's the uh, overflow box I, I have to clean it I'm getting algae issues still I'm trying I don't get it actually okay here it was my lighting also. I have the um, GHL mat matrix lights, LED lights. And one of the pro projects that I had on it had too much pink. And of course pink uh, causes algae to grow. Now this is bor boriasis, I believe. And ay, 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 I don't get it. GFO, honestly, to me, I don't think it works. Um, and my water quality, you know, is zero ppm. I'm using pro coral salt, which I love. Um, I changed the project lighting, and it's, and as you can see, it kind of like it. Well, I have to keep yanking it, but it's um, it stopped growing. Look at my zoanthians. They are getting covered by the algae. Okay, I installed an algae scrubber, which I love. Uh, my other tank, I have one set up, and this thing is great. You know, last week I cleaned it out. Let's take a peek. Okay, nothing yet. Or well, two days ago, actually, I cleaned it out. And here's the uh, sump. I think you guys seen it. Ooh, I got yes. I gotta clean the the skimmer head. Um, let's see. I installed the um, a cow. Hey, why is the sentiment? That's the alk. Uh, I installed a doser for the alk because I. My calcium reactor is not keeping up with the alk. I don't get it. I keep trying. The settings right now is that I'm getting 6.7. Hold on, let me close this door. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Okay. The meter, the pH meter is 6.7 inside the reactor. Here's the... Uh, Master Flex. Um, the refugium, which I got to clean out. It only turns on at when the lights in the main tank goes out. This one turns on. Here's the uh, the nano, which I have. What's that fish name again? I had him in the main tank and he was just attacking everything, eating everything, all my corals. So I caught him and I got him in here. He's hiding. Where are you? I got a little shrimp in there too. A fire shrimp. Hey, where are you? Oh, there he goes. 
hiding back there. He's oh, he's awesome at eating eating the aptasias. Oh, he's great. Uh, what else? Well, like I said, here's an update of the tank. I have, I have five fishes in there. Um, and getting back over here, I was running. I have carbon. And like I said, I was running GFO. I'm going to run GFO again and see what's going on. Uh, but yeah, all is good. Oh, here, here are my door, doors that I installed. I got the, uh, the French cleats. You know, they hang up on here. And I love it. This is the best way. Okay, see it hangs on the cleats and then I just lift it up and pull it out and I have full access to the sump. And let's look yep. on the other side. Oh yeah, the algae. Like I said before, I wanted to have some algae. You know, to make it look kind of natural, but, you know, it's getting out of control. And it's a pain in the butt. Every time I do water changes, you know, I, I yank them out, but they just come right back. Um, I got to clean this. I kind of neglected it a little because uh, I don't know if you guys know. Um, let me see. Back in uh, in August, yeah, I finally in the kitchen. I took out the 65, and I finally set up the 120. Here, let's have a peek. All right. Remember before I had the 65 over here, now I have the wine cooler. Yes, the wine cooler, which is empty. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the 120 that I set up in August. And everything's going great. Actually, this tank is going to be my LPS tank. I, um, oh, I had um, an SPS. Oh, what is it right here? <gasps> it's dying. Well, I had, it was really big. I had a big piece that I had bought from someone, and it was thriving, doing great. And I transferred over to the 110, and it died. I don't get it because uh, everything, the, actually, no, the salinity was a little high. I believe it was a, it was a 1.28. The alk was okay, 8.3. The... Um, my mag was up, the cow was up. I don't know. When I transferred it over to the 110, it just bleached out. And over here, here we go again. It's bleaching out. I don't get it. Here's another piece up there. Um, I don't know. Well, here's the 120. And like I said, everything is just growing too much, too big. I got to frag them. And here's a piece back there. The, um, oh, jeez, I'm bad. I forgot the name of it. Well, that had, oh, uh, last year it had wiped out. And I had one tiny little piece. And look, look at it now. And here's another little piece here. I don't think you can see it. Right there is growing. I got to move it because the, uh, the frog spawn is going to touch it and freaking kill it. You know. But um, here's my GPS. Oh, not GPS. GSP. <laughs> and I got to do some cleaning. And here we go again. I'm getting bar bariasis. But I think, no, this was from the rock that was in the other tank. I brought it over here. And like I said, every now and then I pull it out and start yanking it. 
um, if anyone could give me any suggestions. Uh, okay, let's go into the sump. With this one, I have a dosa running, the Prophylux. I have the Alk, the Calcium. And on the third one, I think I'm going to set up the, uh, the uh, how you call it again, the, the Calc. I'm going to set up the Calc. Because I notice on this tank the pH keeps dropping. Well, actually, no. Yeah, it's, it's dropping. It's drop. What's, what, what's the pH? I think it's a 7.72. So that, my alk is low on this one. So I got to add more alk to it. But here's the sump. Okay, I don't know if you can see. I also installed the, um, the UV light. I have a tang, I have only one fish, a tang, and she was getting a white spot, so I was like, oh no, I, I installed a UV, and I highly recommend the UVs, you know, killing those parasites. I also, another thing, I had the, um, the royal skimmer over here, and I switched it out, and I put this little one here, which is perfect. Over at the 110, it's, it's um, uh, as you saw, the skimmer head was dirty, so you know, that's running nice. Okay, and here's another algae scrubber. I cleaned it out also. Yesterday I cleaned it out. I love these algae scrubbers. Uh, who is it, Bud, that builds them? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And yeah, like my plumbing work. <laughs> now this guy, this is my ca carbon. I, uh, I got it on the manifold, but I guess there's no pressure at the end. I got it wide open and nothing. You can't get that water to drip. Uh, and I don't want to put too much pressure. Actually, I'm going to have to put a, a valve here. So then maybe I could get more flow at the end and get the carbon, you know, running. And, yeah, I'm going to have to throw some GHO in here. GFO, I mean, GHO. What the hell am I talking about? I'm going to throw some uh, GFO and see what's up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Just wanted to give you an update. Um, oh, and the lighting that I'm running here. I had transferred the Wingo, the Wingo LEDs. I got one bar in the front, one bar in the back. I got the, um, uh, how you call this? The G8, uh, what is it? The, uh, Part of the Prophylux, the lights, those uh, bo light bars. Awesome, I got two of them. Then I got a T5, the, the little mini, little, oh, how long is it? Uh, 18 inch uh, T5s over here. And then I got some LEDs. Let me see, can we look up on top? What is it from, Ch oh, I like these, the, the China LED lights, I forgot. Well, I, I call them China, they're from China anyway. And here's the T5s. Yeah, everything's running good. I have a sea swirl. Uh, Tunzi, I gotta love the Tunzi pumps. I had the MP10 here and I dropped the, um, the brick, you know, the power supply and the damn thing broke. And then those power supplies, man, they want, I don't know, they want like 40 bucks for it. I was like, get out of here. See, ooh, I'm getting see I'm getting algae up on top, but that's probably from the lights and yeah I'm gonna have to raise my magnesium and hopefully it'll fight the algae and then throw some GFO. But let's see yeah, I wanna show you these guys here. Alright, like I said, thanks for watching and catch you guys next time. Bye.